next up, the CEO and co-founder of uh, Paretos, Thorsten Heilig, who will tell us how you can lead your startup thinking like a world boxing champion. Please welcome Thorsten to the stage once he gets his mic. There we go. Applause. <laughs> Good morning. So basically, companies are faced with a lot of challenges today. Um, and, but when you go back, like root cause, I think there are two major challenges. One is the speed of change, and the other one is the ever-increasing complexity. So with complexity, there is a problem, because managing complexity is not easy. As you know, like complexity means a lot of fast-moving elements in a system. Uh, you're not easily see like the causality of the different dimensions. So how can we manage complexity? And this will be like one of the major challenges for companies over the next years. Well, let's ask ex experts. Um, and we have one expert, like I think, uh, as said, like it's a boxer. Uh, and he, uh, uh, there was a very nice quote I saw from uh, Mike Tyson. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in their face. Uh, so basically, I think it sums up perfectly what we call, uh, I mean, fast adapting to change, agile, or now with Taleb, uh, let's call it anti-fragile, you know, like it's always the same pattern. We need plans, we need strategies, we, we also need scenario thinking, we need tactics, but when we see that we are wrong, then we have to iterate uh, and uh, yeah, to fail, uh, hope, hopefully not to fail, but to learn quickly. So this is easy to set, this is easy set, but how can we do it? Um, there was a Gartner report, uh, I think back then in December or January, uh, which said like one third of all companies, like 33% will use machine learning and artificial intelligence and decision making, which is now called decision intelligence, end of next year, end of 23. I mean, that was bolder than it was in our slides for the investors, to be honest. Uh, so 33%, like when we're coming from BI and analytics, so looking at data, looking at structured, structured data, coming to process mining, like optimizing processes, which is non-complex, which is still complicated, now going to more dynamic and more uh, complex problem solving and decision making, which is decision intelligence. But there's another number, and the other number is only 13% of all machine learning models ever make it into production and operational use, 13%. So another smart, other smart people say, okay, the only really valuable thing is intuition. Why? Because the human brain, intuition is a very, very good problem solver when it comes to complexity. Uh, so how can we combine that? And this is what for us real decision intelligence is for combining or connecting data science and behavioral science. So on the one hand side, you have all the information of the companies. I mean, you have historical data. You can enrich it with environmental data, with um, weather, you can with market data, and so on. But then, and this is key, you have to combine artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques to the human behavior and the domain experts, um, be it supported with predictions, be it augmented with recommendations or even automated with automated recommendation systems. And this is what decision intelligence is about. Um, and yes, um, I'll be here uh, around to discuss it with you. Super happy to discuss. And I hope for you and for us all, no more bad decisions. Thanks.